In this video, we will be covering how to replace the free hub body on your Surface 604 bike. To accomplish this video's objectives, you will need a chain whip, a crescent wrench, a 17mm wrench, a Torque 20 screwdriver bit, and a lock ring tool. First, shift into the second smallest rear cog. It will make removing and reinstalling the rear wheel easier. Next, we will need to remove the battery. Make sure to hold the power button down to drain the remaining current in the controller and motor. Next, disconnect the motor wires on the bottom of the bike. For the next step, you will need to loosen both axle nuts off the rear wheel. Bend the derailleur back and lift the wheel up and out of the frame and then remove the wheel. Next, we will have to remove the cassette. Slip on the lock ring tool. And then, take your chain whip and connect it to one of the medium to lower cogs. Holding the chain whip firmly in place so the cassette does not spin, spin the wrench until the lock ring tool is spinning fairly easily on its own. Once loose, you should be able to slide the cassette right off. Next, you will need to remove the two axle nuts securing the free hub body to the motor axle. Use the 17mm wrench to get them loose and spin them off by hand afterwards. Remove the six torque bolts securing the motor case. This will expose the disc rotor. Slide the panel off, exposing the electrical components. You can now replace the cover. Carefully, remove the six screws around the base of the free hub body ensuring to use the correct size Phillips bit. Once the screws are out, proceed to remove the faulty free hub and replace with the new part. Make sure to line up the holes by spinning the free hub. Screw the new free hub to the plate.
slide the plate and new free hub to the motor. Now we can insert the whole motor core back in and reassemble the wheel. Make sure to line up the holes and re-screw in the torque bolts one at a time. Then, take the cassette and reinstall it. Note that there is one smaller groove that will line up, so you can fit it on perfectly. If it is easier, you can use the chain whip to hold the gears in place, though not necessary. You can tighten the lock ring tool by hand at first. Then, finish with your crescent wrench. Now that you have the cassette back on, you can reinstall the rear wheel and go for a ride.